This is not good. Hidden treasure, a hidden corpse, and very visible phantoms await us in Kent. I brought my team to Kent and to the very haunted Boys Hall. The hall was originally built in 1616 by the Dubois family, who landed in England from France at the time of the Norman Conquest. Over time, their name was anglicised through Boyce to Boys. The house is said to be a portal through which many spirits journey in order to revisit the living. Numerous sightings and sounds are reported of ghostly children, music playing, a large jovial spirit of a man making merry, a dog from the netherworld, tales of unrequited love and much poltergeist activity. The current very grand Jacobean mansion was completed in 1632, incorporating materials from a Saxon manor house belonging to the convent of St Augustine. The hall boasts priest holes, oak panelling, beamed ceilings and many strange stories. With such a diverse history, no wonder Boys Hall is said to be haunted. So the big question is, who should spend the night alone and in the dark here? Well, our two volunteers this week just had to be myself and Carl, and this is what happened. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm shaking. Come on. It's deadly quiet, isn't it? Mm. If I whistle, can you whistle back? <whistles> what? what? I just want to see like a black shape in the mirror. What? Something just touched my head. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Something just like went. We should get back in here. Yeah. What? 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 Don't, don't, Something what? Something just touched my hair. Something just. No, I need to get out of here. No, now. no, no. Just chill, 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 chill. What touched your hair? What touched your hair? I don't hair? know, but can we just. Yeah, don't you? I feel a lot better when everybody else is here tomorrow. Come on. Having only spent a brief time in the house, I already had serious misgivings about the coming investigation. In its day, this stable block would have been the centre of equestrian activity, but now its only inhabitants are memories and ghosts. A dark, imposing shadow, thought to be an old stable master, has been seen and heard wandering around this empty stable block many times. And people have also witnessed the smell of tobacco. My experiences of living at Boys Hall range from watching the television one evening and the door handles rattling and the, and the cupboard doors swinging open and shut to seeing somebody run past the door of the reception. I also saw what I believe was the ghost of a dog on the stairwell at the top of the house. Um, and generally lots of noises, music box playing in my bedroom, lots and lots of different things. My first impressions today when I arrived was pleasant. Um, a beautiful house and beautiful gardens. It wasn't until I started to go up the stairs that I felt uncomfortable. A sense of frustration. The children were crying for help. They were punished by being put in cupboards. And it wasn't until I went to the other end of the house and picked up a female energy that that was where the frustration was coming from. Oh, 
There is a tragic story that is said to be the basis of one particular haunting that echoes through the hall. After being seduced by an Irish dandy, Ellen Scott's fiancé, William Boys, attacked and murdered the would-be suitor in a fit of jealousy. Being totally unaware of this tragic act, Ellen finally agreed to marry William. The newlyweds left Boys Hall not to return for almost nine years. It was upon Ellen's return that our story takes a gruesome twist. It is said that something or someone encouraged her to look under the floorboards in the lumber room. As the wooden boards were lifted, the skeleton of a lady dressed in the Irishman's clothing became visible. It was Tracy. It was clear that the two women were lovers. As the skull was lifted from the body, a bullet fell to the floor. Ellen quickly picked it up and ran to the window to see if there were any markings on it to link the murder to her husband. What happens next remains a mystery. All we know is that she fell from the window and died. Was she pushed? Did she fall? Or did she jump? We do not know. But they are both said to haunt the hall on a regular basis. So imagine being here in the dining room at night. And as has happened so many times, the doors start to rattle in their frames, the handles slowly rotate, the doors fly open to reveal the ghostly figures of our two phantoms, each trying to find the other. When we first moved in, we hurriedly unpacked our boxes and uh, we hung um, some porcelain, Victorian porcelain jelly moulds on the kitchen wall. And while I was in another part of the house, two of my friends were in the kitchen having a break, having a coffee. And the porcelain jelly mould had been hanging on the wall for a couple of days by then. And in front of them, it flew off the wall and hit the wall opposite and smashed. So that was the first experience in this house. The most recent one was actually at 3.30 this morning. And that was a scratching on the inside of the panelling in my bedroom, behind my head. And that's the second night it's happened, at 3.30 on the dot. So I've been up since 3.30 because it just didn't stop, so I'm, I thought I might as well get up. This Jacobean Hall has been the scene of many gruesome events in its 360-year history, and many of the ghosts here don't seem to be very friendly. This area by the stairs is a favourite haunt of two particularly negative spirits. A strong poltergeist presence has been witnessed here that likes to move objects and dish up fear with trepidation in equal measures. And an entity that chillingly calls itself the house. Is this entity the very soul of Boys Hall? We have 24 hours to find out. how he was feeling about the prospect of investigating Boys Hall. Now, for me, this is a really exciting location because it's somebody's home, and we don't really get the chance that often to do an investigation in someone's home, do we? So how do you feel about that? Well, I'm ex equally excited about this place because it is a veritable museum of phenomena. There's so many different things that have happened here. Auditory phenomena, physical stuff, temperature drops animal sensing things, you've got photographic and artistic evidence of stuff, so it's just such an exciting place and it holds a lot of potential. As I mentioned earlier on, there's a tragic story connected to the house and a lot of people have seen the ghost connected, or supposedly connected, um, with this story. Does that intrigue 